Oh my God, what is happening in Jacksonville? It feels like the situation is just completely falling apart when it comes to Urban Meyer and the coaching staff and things that are being said to the coaches there. What's going on with James Robinson? It doesn't, under, it doesn't feel like Urban Meyer understands that that's his best player. Trevor Lawrence not taking the steps forward that we were hoping to see for fantasy, for reality, and there's lots of dysfunction going around in Jacksonville as part of this 2-10 season. They did snap their 20-game losing streak, but things have not gotten better since that win against the Dolphins, since that win against Buffalo when you're just hearing and seeing things that are happening in Jacksonville that don't make you feel very comfortable about the future there. For more on this situation, we bring in our CBS Sports NFL insider, Jason Lockenfora, who's been reporting on this story in Jacksonville about the dysfunction with Urban Meyer and everything on this staff and everything with this team. So, Jason, break it down for us. Is Urban Meyer going to be the long-term answer for the Jaguars as their head coach? No, and I don't even know how much longer he's the short-term answer, to be honest with you. I mean, I reported back in week one about how much he was degrading um, and deriding his coaches in front of players uh, about the lack of morale. Um, about the lack of buy-in he was getting overall because Urban Meyer himself was having um, a tremendously difficult time adjusting to any of the nuances of uh, NFL life. And it has just continued to deteriorate the on-field product, the lack of development for Trevor Lawrence. Go watch um, their first halves since the bye. There's, there's zero passing game to speak of. There's zero development. The only yards and points come in garbage time. The blowout losses are mounting, um, and morale continues to sink. Um, yes, there was an episode at a, at a recent staff meeting where he called himself, I'm told, a champion and referred to his championship resume and went around the room um, kind of deriding everybody else for not being him. Of course, these were all his hand-picked coaches, although he started to sour on many of them in the spring and by the summer. Training camp was already threatening to fire position coaches in front of players. The James Robinson thing, I'm told, on the headsets, he made it clear when Robinson fumbled early in that game that he wanted him off the field. Trevor Lawrence asked him about it during the course of the game, and then after the game he came out and put it on uh, running back coach Bernie Parmalee, which just, again, people are calling him a liar throughout that building, and they feel as if they continue to catch him uh, in untruths and whatever semblance or shred of respect and trust that maybe was there at a certain point has long dissolved. He's lost Trevor Lawrence. Um, the GM, Trent Balky is distancing himself from him as well. And there's a lot of allegiances and alliances going on there right now within that building, trying to find ways to pick up the pieces. If ownership does realize how bleak it is, and it's bleak, and makes a move in season, they play Houston next week. If they were to get swept by the Texans, certainly you could say, wait a minute, um, what's going on here? Uh, and again, Lawrence isn't developing, and Lawrence is starting to find his voice as well. And people, people close to Lawrence believe that another year with Urban Meyer um, would be a lost season. So whether ownership does something now, whether ownership sits down with players at the end of the season and does exit interviews, um, as is normally the case, because I'm told those exit interviews um, will be off the hook uh, because players are, are not going to be biting their tongues much longer, this looks untenable. And there's a lot of support for former Louisville and Texas head coach Charlie Strong, who's an assistant head coach there and coaching the linebackers. You know, Daryl Bevels, somebody who maybe could take over on an interim, interim basis as well. Um, there's a lot of player support I know for Strong. This is probably coming to a head here, Jamie, and, and if not in the next couple weeks, then certainly next month. Yeah, not a very good marriage so far with Urban Meyer in the NFL and obviously some of the off the field situations as we saw when they went to play the Bengals, uh, not happening, not, fa not a good situation for uh, for Meyer as well. Do you want a sports network that delivers everything that matters about the game? The highlights, the picks, the instant analysis, no yelling, no fake debates, no politics. Hit the subscribe button and never miss a moment.